Kim Yang. She's an epidemiologist at Hong Kong Polytechnic University and she worked in Wuhan during that first outbreak. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Doctor, first of all, tell us how long were you in Wuhan and what were you doing there as the city tried to bring the coronavirus under control? Well, I, actually, I was uh, I was there, and uh, you know, during the whole lockdown last year. So I arrived at Wuhan in the evening of twenty uh, second November. So uh, sorry, the January. So it's like just the, the night before the lockdown started. So when I woke up in the morning, I was shocked to see the news that the whole city was going to be locked down, and nobody knows how long it will last. But at, uh, at the end, uh, the whole city was locked down for uh, 76 days. So I when I worked there, I actually um, worked with the local uh, doctors to work on the data, and uh, we do uh, share our uh, research results with you know, in in couple of uh, international journals, and also uh, to share our experience. Uh, I, I mean, their experience in infection control and prevention. Right uh, now, doctor, tell us a little bit more about uh, those strategies because you know, in terms of bringing infections down, so little was known about the virus back then. So, what sort of obstacles uh, were you facing in treating patients and trying to understand the coronavirus? Well, actually, this. Um, at the beginning, people thought this could be just like another SARS outbreak, right? In the 2003, similarly, probably just a few countries got affected. But the new, uh, the novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, actually bring us a lot of surprise. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, we don't know, uh, we didn't know there's uh, asymptomatic cases. But there's actually a large proportion of people, of patients, they have the infections, but they don't have any symptoms, but it's still spreading the diseases to the others. So this is a, um, a surprise uh, fact we gradually get to know when, when we study the data. So um, for treatment, I think uh, a lot of, you know, uh, therapies actually has been tested, but so far, unfortunately, we haven't found a very, very, uh, you know, effective treatment uh, for COVID. But fortunately, we do have the vaccine available in in, uh, in many countries now. Right. And now, Doctor, there is a new outbreak in Hebei province and its capital, Shijuazhong, now. And doctors are doing, you know, are they doing things differently knowing what they learned from Wuhan? Yes, I think um, that actually the health uh, authorities is, uh, respond that very quickly uh, in the in, uh, in I mean this year, so if you compare with last year, what happened in Wuhan, mm. so they quickly ordered the compulsory uh, compulsory mass scanning for uh, screening for uh, all the residents. So the most in, uh, recent incidents actually is in the uh, uh, Beijing. So the Beijing they tried they're planning to test. Uh, 20,000 resi uh, 20, uh, million residents in two days. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Right, all right. I mean, it's staggering efforts. Now, Doctor, you know, in most places across China, life is slightly back to normal. And how is that, do you think? Because we see so many places, such as here in the United States, the United Kingdom, really struggling with case numbers. How is China succeeding in keeping things under control? Well, uh, if I think there's the, the successful experience of China has been shared by a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the health authorities, academics like uh, the WHO and academics has given credit to the Chinese government for its handling of the pandemic. So in my opinion, I think there are three key factors to make the successful uh, ex uh, control of the uh, of uh, COVID-19 in China, the first is uh, they have uh, very strong leadership. The second is high compliance of Chinese people to this uh, precautions uh, precautionary measures and also the infection control, social distancing measures. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one is efficient control. Uh, I mean, the contact tracing and a lot of efforts in, uh, you know, uh, doing the uh, community testing as well. 